Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to install data packs or uses packs. I'll be specifically showing how to do it to mine, but it, this should work the same for almost every single data pack. I'll be going over how to add it to an existing road and a new road, and yeah, let's just get into this tutorial. Okay, so to start off, you need to go and download the uses pack and data pack. I'll be using my hammers and sieves data pack I recently uploaded as an example. So you need to go, and mine's on Planet Minecraft, so you need to click download data pack. This will include the data pack resource pack from my packs at least, but I know other people have the resource packs separately that you have to download. Okay, so once you have those downloaded, you need to figure out which is the data pack and which is the resource pack. I mark mine with the break, just the name itself, so like breakdown here is the data pack, and for all my resource packs I add OES at the end. But I also have this info.txt, which if I open up it will tell you the uh, which is which. So first up, I'm going to show you how to install these spec. To do this, go to your Minecraft, click Options, Resource Packs, and then click on Open Pack Folder. This will just open up your Resource Pack Folder, which I already have a lot of Resource Packs downloaded, but you might have yours be empty. Next, you want to go into your downloaded and just drag and drop that Resource Pack into the folder. Now, if you go back to Minecraft, go to Resource Packs, you'll be able to scroll down and see that you have the Resource Pack installed. Now you just need to click on the plus button and add it over to your selected side, and then click done and the resource pack is installed. Okay, so next up is adding a data pack to an existing world. To do this, click on the world you want to add it to, in my case data pack download tutorial, click edit and click open world folder. This will open up the world folder, which then you'll see inside there, there is a data packs folder, which you then want to open up. And this is where you drag and drop the resource pack, not resource pack data pack. Now, once you have the data pack in the folder, just go back to Minecraft and click on your button to join it. And when you join, you should see that it is installed. In my case, most of my data packs have a download message that will show up in chat if it's successfully installed. But if it, your data pack does not have that, you can just join slash data pack list and it will show all enabled data packs, which in my case includes breakdown. Now, with this, you can do anything with the data pack allows, such as, you know, get items, and if you have the uses pack, it should work fine. Now, on to how to install data packs to new worlds. Okay, now to install a data pack to a new world. To do this, you need to cre click create new world, create your world like normal, so we're just going to call this new data pack world. Then you click on data packs, click open pack folder, and this will open up the temporary folder that you need to drag your data pack into. I'm just going to drag mine in, and then once I go back to Minecraft, we have some stuff we need to do. Now once we're back in Minecraft, you see that you now have that data pack available. All you have to do now is to click on it to add it to your selected ones, click done, and then create your world like any other one. Okay, so now once you're in the world, you should see, if you're using one of my data packs, the download message. But if you're using a data pack that doesn't have that, you can just check by opening the land and allowing cheats for a second. So that you can unslash slash data pack list and see if it's enabled. If it is, then you did it successfully and you now have the data pack. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it helps you install the data pack. I will go back to uploading my normal data packs like usual next video. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.